boils down to one thing. The people of Delhi have to come first. Not your political gains, not your egos, not anything else. The people of Delhi have to come first. There were some promises made to the people of Delhi that have not been kept by either side. Remember the BJP in 2014, while the Prime Minister was running his campaign at that time, promised statehood to the, state, uh, to the city of Delhi. That promise has obviously not been kept. At the same time, the Ahmadi Party made a slew of promises, including electricity and water and CCTV cameras and buses. Those promises have not been kept either. You have to just find a way to work together because this situation is not new. What you have is a standoff between two sides who are putting their, putting their political interests ahead of the citizens. Apologize if you have to. No one will judge you for it. And the LG must call a meeting because that's his job. Calling a meeting is his job. Meeting with the chief minister, dealing with the issues is his job. For heaven's sake, nobody cares about your politics. Just simply do your jobs. And we shouldn't have a situation where the people need to be grateful for you that you simply did your job. Come into work tomorrow, swallow your pride and your ego, put the people of Delhi first and get the job done. If you're unable to do it, remember that the people of Delhi will vote very, very soon. And from what we understand in the responses that we're getting on to this debate, they blame both sides and neither of you will benefit from this mess. It's in both interests, in the interests of both parties, that you put aside your pride at this point and get some work done. Thanks for watching.